Maya was born on November 7th of last year. Um, she's, she'll be six months, May 7th. When, when, when Maya was born, it was the most wonderful experience I've ever had in my life. I've never felt a love like that for, for any, anything or anyone. get a new liver and get all better. Get all better. I know. I know. I know. I know. My name is Fran Oliver and I live in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm, sta I'm currently staying at the Ronald McDonald house. We knew throughout my pregnancy she had um, a low basal heart rate and they knew that something was wrong um, and the doctors just kept saying that they had never seen anything like it and then she was born and they said she's she's fine she's great you can take her home <laughs> she's great we went home and things were fine for about the first 10 weeks and that's when we noticed that I took her back to the doctor and that's when everything went everything changed. They diagnosed her with this disease I'd never heard of called biliary atresia. She was, had, a, had to immediately have a procedure called a Kasai procedure, which um, is where they attach the liver to the small intestine. During the procedure, they found a lot of other issues with her. Um, she has, uh, they had to remove her gallbladder, her appendix, and her intestines were malrotated. They had to fix that. And we found out that the, the Kasai procedure had failed. And um, within about a month, um, it just destroyed her liver. She went from having to have a liver transplant to she needs to immediately um, have a liver transplant. She was immediately listed for the transplant. The day that she was listed, she caught pneumonia and so had to be taken off the transplant list. You get a liver pretty soon, it's gonna happen so quickly and then it's gonna be all better. It's just so surreal, you know, that I, I didn't believe that this was happening, that my daughter had this rare disease. Right, right now, the main thing is just to maintain her care until she can try to keep her as comfortable as possible until she can get a transplant. I am in the process of trying to collect donations so we can get us a place to stay for about a year um, while she's in recovery. She has to be here in Charleston at MUSC. Started a GoFundMe account, which has been helpful, and I sold my vehicle, so I'm currently without a, a vehicle. So all the donations that I am receiving are to help me and Maya just living expenses um, for the time being and then after post-transplant it's very important that she is in Charleston um, and can follow her care at MUSC. Thank you so much for everybody that has donated so far. I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful. I feel so blessed that I have such an outpouring of support.